Hi, it's Allison with JBF Tacoma. This is part three. We're going to talk about the online barcoding system and tagging your clothing for just a couple minutes. So this is the online barcoding page. It's www.myjbftags.com. As soon as you get here, if you haven't logged in before, you're going to click on sign up and then it's going to have you register your information. You're going to put information in here you need to know your consigner number because as soon as you type that in this box and click OK that's what's going to print on your tags and it has to match the consigner number in our system so if you don't know your consigner number you can look it up or you can email me and I'll send it to you down here you're going to select Washington State and that will pull up a drop down menu that has all the Washington sales in it and Tacoma is the sale you pick if you're selling items in Tacoma this is where you'd come back to in your profile to change your sale. If you sell your items at Tacoma and then you want to sell it at a Seattle sale or the Seattle East sale or even Portland, any other JBF sale, you just change your profile. This account stays with you forever even if you move to a different state and sell with JBF. You can use your same ID number wherever you're at. So then once you're in your account, this is my account here, I'm going to enter tags and you can see I've already entered lots of tags here. What's important when you're entering tags is that you think about um, the fact that we're not going to sell items if they're separated from their tag. And we are going to do our best to match missing tags with items. So the more you can tell us on your tag, the better, and more likely we'll be able to match it up with the tag that's missing so that we can sell it. I can even search this database. So if it says Pink Disney, I can type that into a search engine and pull up all the Pink Disney items and figure out which item is in front of me and which tag goes with it. So you'll see the category, you'll select which category. This doesn't print on the tag, so it's not as important if you don't pick the perfect category, if you don't see something that fits, that's fine. The size does print on the tag, so anything with a size, clothing, shoes, if it's furniture, of course, you're not going to click a size, but this prints on the tag. The item description is very important. That's where you want to list the brand name, the colors, the patterns, how many pieces, are in the, the item. All that is in the item description. This is where you do the price. Now we do a three dollar rule especially if it's a hanging item. If you can combine things to be three dollars or more that's awesome. Um, if it's a book or if it's a little baggie of socks and you want to put a dollar fifty on it that's fine too but for the most part any clothing items we'd like to be any outfits we'd like to be at least three dollars. Then you have the choice to reduce or donate that item. If you click the reduce button and the the um, default will be clicked here, so you'll unclick it if you want to unclick the reduce and donate button. If the check mark's in the reduce box, that means on Sunday, our half price day, your item will be sold for 50% off. That is if it hasn't sold already. If you check the donate button, that means if your item doesn't sell at all, it'll be donated to our charity partner. And we've got wonderful charity partner that serves local families, so I highly encourage you to do that. If it doesn't sell during the sale, go ahead and donate it to them. Let's say you have a whole bundle of socks and you're going to split them up and put four pairs in each little baggie. And I would price that at a dollar or dollar fifty. Well, if I just say socks variety here, put a dollar fifty in the price, and then I have four bags of them, I can select four here. And when you go to print tags, it will print out four tags for those, um, all those baggies of socks. Um, so that's how quantity works. When you go to print your tags, I want you to select print alternate. You see you've got two choices here, print tags and print tags alternate. Select print alternate and that gets you six per page. Saves a little paper and you can, um, the tags come out a little bit smaller. So that's what you need to do for this. You're going to want to print your tags on white cardstock, which is right here. Can't really see it, but white cardstock is that thicker paper and then you'll cut out each tag and put it on your item. What I want you to think about is make sure at this point when you've got your tags in your hand you're going back to our tagging and hanging page and it tells you how to prepare each type of item. So if you're tagging clothing please use your safety pin and your um, or your tagging gun to tag it to the tag or an inside seam. We don't want to damage any of the clothing by pricing it so be really careful with those things. We also want the tags to be visible, so this isn't a fancy retail store where they hide all the tags inside the clothing. Make sure all the tags are outside, easy to see. We want our shoppers to be able to quickly decide if they want your item or not. And then um, it tells you how to use the tags to 
usually tape them or attach them with string to the other items that you might sell. I'll see you at the sale.